Hi, today I'm going to be showing you how to solve word problems using the bug system. So here I have an example word problem. A high school of 500 students sold tickets for their homecoming dinner. They sold tickets for five days. Each student ticket cost $3 and each regular ticket cost 7 The school sold twice as many regular tickets than student tickets. The school raised a total of $3,400 from the total sale of tickets. How many student and regular tickets were sold? So looking at that, that looks really complex and really intimidating because of how big and how many words there are. And it's really even more intimidating when you don't exactly know what you're supposed to be doing or what the problem is asking you. So the buck system helps us kind of figure out which steps we need to take in order to find how we need to solve our question. So our first step is B, bracket the question. So I'm going to come over here to my example problem and find my question, which is here at the very bottom. And I'm going to bracket. So now I know that whatever I do, my answer needs to reflect my question, which is how many student and regular tickets were sold. Next, I need to underline important vocab. This helps us know which operations we might be doing later on in the problem. So a high school sold 500 student tickets for their homecoming, or a high school sold 500, a high school of 500 students, there we go, sold tickets for their homecoming dinner. They sold tickets for five days. Each student, so each student ticket cost $3 and each regular ticket cost seven. This will let us know that we have multiplication somewhere on when we solve. The school sold twice as many, another multiplication um, phrase, regular tickets and student tickets. The school raised a total of $3,400 from the total sale of tickets. Total allows us to know that we will have our addition later on in the problem. Next, we have C, circle the numbers. And so we know we have 500 students. They sold for five days. Student tickets cost $3. Regular tickets cost seven. And they raised a total of $3,400. So doing this allows us to know which number goes with what, because if we just have the numbers just scattered throughout the problem, it can be hard to figure out what goes with what. So now we know what each number represents. Next we have knock out extra info. So I don't really need to know the total number of students I have in the school, nor do I need to know that they sold tickets for five days. All I need to know is the number of students and regular tickets. So I know my student tickets cost three, I know they cost, um, regular tickets cost seven, and I know they raised a total of $3,400. And so all that's left is for me to solve. So if I take the information that I have and kind of write it out into equations, I know that my regular tickets are sold twice as many as student tickets. So I can put two S. So R represents my regular, and S represents my students. And I know together they raise $3,400. I know my regular tickets cost seven, so I can put seven R plus, and I know my student tickets cost three. So three S would give me a total of 3,400. And so now I can use the substitution method to figure out how many tickets I sold for each. And so if I substitute my R into my bottom equation, I would get 7, 2S plus 3S equals 3,400. So my 7 times 2S gives me 14S plus 3S equals 3,400. So 14 plus 3 is going to give me um, 17. S equals 3,400. And if I divide by 17, my student tickets should equal 200. So now that I have this, I can plug it into my equation from the top. So now I have R equals 2, 200. And so my R is 400. So now I know I sold 200 student tickets and 400 regular tickets. And all of this I found by simply using the Bucks method to figure out what I needed to find and how to find it. 
I hope you found this video very helpful and use other resources from STAR. Thank you.